Israel tells U.S., stay out of Jerusalem. Israeli National Security Advisor Mayor Ben Shabbat has told his U.S. counterpart, Jake Sullivan, to stay out of the Jerusalem crisis, Axios reported, citing an Israeli official. Hundreds of Palestinians have been injured as Israeli security services continue to crack down on demonstrations. The two national security advisors spoke over the phone on Sunday, during which Sullivan raised serious concerns over the threat of eviction for Palestinian residents in East Jerusalem's Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood. Ben Shabbat told Sullivan that international intervention is a reward to the Palestinian rioters and those who back them who were seeking international pressure on Israel, the Israeli official told Axios. The official added that Ben Shabbat told Sullivan that Israel would be handling events from a position of sovereignty and responsibility regardless of Palestinian provocations. In a readout of the call, the U.S. National Security Advisor stressed Washington's commitment to Israel's security and to supporting peace and stability throughout the Middle East and that it would be engaged to promote calm in Jerusalem. Both Citizism On Monday morning, Israeli security forces stormed Al-Aqsa Mosque complex and used rubber bullets and tear gas against Palestinian protesters and worshippers. At least 215 Palestinians were injured and 153 others hospitalized, including four in a critical condition, according to the Palestinian Red Crescent. The scenes have taken place against the backdrop of the planned eviction of 40 Palestinians from their homes in Sheikh Jarrah, a plan which has inflamed tensions and provoked international condemnation. The violence towards Palestinians over the past week has also prompted condemnation from a number of vocal figures within U.S. President Joe Biden's own party. While the U.S. response has been relatively mild, with both the White House and State Department issuing concerns over the planned evictions without condemning them, the Biden administration has been more critical of Israel than the former Trump administration. Still, Washington's both citizism, blaming both Palestinians and Israeli forces for the violence, has been met with criticism from pro-Palestinian groups and activists.